so one of my favorite little crowd pleasers is the breadcrumbs tool. Um, and it's got a lot of functionality that people don't really know about. This can help anybody. And I think it's something that's overlooked by uh, advanced users and, and not known by new users. So it should be very helpful. By default, uh, the setting is on, but you may not have even noticed it. Um, since 2020 or so, if you click on basically any face, part, assembly, anything, uh, you'll get these breadcrumbs. So right now I've just clicked on the face of this part. It gives me the face, the feature it's a part of, the sketch that made that feature, the body that feature's in, the part that body is in, and the assembly that that part is in. Um, and you can click or right-click on any of these entities to get different context menus. So here, this gives me the edit feature bar. In the body, it gives me, you know, the body display properties, um, components, all that good stuff. So it's a very easy way to get down into your data without having to go all the way over here. Um, and even better than that, if you click on something and then you hit D, these features will show up right next to your cursor. Um, if you like that functionality by default, you can go into your settings, search for breadcrumbs, and by default, yeah, way down here, you can show breadcrumbs at your mouse pointer. So now without even hitting D, there they are. Um, and a great use of this is, uh, especially in mates, uh, if you've got some broken mates, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've got some broken mates by default, you'd have to open up your part folder, open up your mates folder, and then find it. Um, but if you click on a part that has a bad mate, that bad mate shows up in this pop-up breadcrumbs toolbar. And you can say, click on it once, and it tells you what the issue is. One of these entities is suppressed. So then I can right-click there. Uh, I can either edit or auto-repair, which is new in the last couple of years. Um, and auto-repair did it automatically. So that's sort of a bonus tip. Um, and if I don't like the way it fix it, I can edit that mate. And it should bring up the new entities. And I can reverse or whatever. But it worked perfectly the first time. Um, and that's basically it. That is, you know, a quick and easy way to completely do away with your feature tree and get a lot of information and functionality about your parts and features and sketches um, without ever leaving the central area. I think one of the most important metrics of uh, efficiency is basically how much time you can spend focusing on your actual design space, not worrying about toolbars, feature trees, any of that stuff. Um, and this is uh, a huge amount of information all sort of compacted into a tiny space that you can access without moving too far away from your design area. 